everybody i know it's a different setup but that's because my team is working from home so i thought let's try vlogging let's give it a shot and see how it goes but you know i was really keen on coming to the kitchen today making something vlogging and sharing the recipe with you because honestly i know abhi aane wale kuch weeks mein we're going to spend a lot of time alone at home hum kaam pe nahi ja rahe we're not meeting our friends so suddenly hamare paas bahut sara time hai and we don't know what to do with that time but i've decided that i want to try and be as productive as i can even in this time of self isolation so i thought let's try and do this new thing where i vlog a new recipe for you as often as i can and you know honestly there's so much stress so much panic all around us and i personally believe that baking is the best way to take our minds off so these are all going to be simple fun recipes that you can make in your own kitchen and aaj ki recipe is from my first book bake with shivesh you can see how much i've changed since then this was back in 2018 and in case you've still not bought my first book i'm going to leave the link in the description box below you could check it out jo recipe aaj hum bana rahe hain is one of my favorite recipe it's the chocolate chip and oat cookies and since i've already spoken a lot let's not waste any more time and let's start baking all right let's go through the ingredients i have half a cup of butter here half cup brown sugar half cup caster sugar aadha cup aata or whole wheat flour 1 and 1/4 cup of oats i am using quicker ke oats jo rolled oats hote hain wo use kar raha hu i have chocolate chips here i am using nestle's uh, baker choice chop bites we'll also use half teaspoon of baking soda and one egg so i know kaafi logo ko is bechare egg se problem hai so in case you want to make these cookies eggless aap is egg ki jagah loge 1 tablespoon of ground flax seeds matlab flax seeds ko powder karke uska 1 tablespoon leke usme add karenge 3 tablespoons of water just mix both the ingredients and set it aside for 5 minutes and jab main recipe mein egg add karunga you can use the flax egg in its place all right so i'll start by adding aata and my oats into the bowl and now to this i'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda and then i'll use a whisk to mix all of this really well so my dry ingredients are done i have set it aside and i have my half cup butter here remember aap jab bhi cookies bana rahe ho to butter should be softened it shouldn't be cold or hard otherwise aapka cookie batter itna acche se banega nahi इसमें मैं ऐड करूंगा दोनों ब्राउन शुगर और व्हाइट शुगर अगर आपके पास ब्राउन शुगर नहीं है तो आप हाफ कप एक्स्ट्रा डाल दो व्हाइट शुगर बट आई रियली लाइक द टेक्सचर दैट ब्राउन शुगर गिव्स टू माय कुकीज एंड हाफ कप व्हाइट शुगर नाउ आई विल मिक्स दिस रियली वेल अंटिल इट ऑल कम्स टुगेदर डालेंगे It smells so good. All right, guys, my dry ingredients are in this bowl. My wet ingredients are here. Now I'm gonna put all my dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and just mix it in. My cookie dough is ready and it looks so good. Honestly, अगर आपके ingredients ready है तो इसको बनाने में फाइव minutes से ज्यादा नहीं लगते And now what I'll do is I'll let it rest in the refrigerator so that all the butter that we have added वो set हो जाए हमारा dough थोड़ा सा firm हो जाए इस step को skip मत करो because if you put it into the oven like this in the hot oven, cookies will spread too much and they'll still taste good but it'll not be Instagrammable. and closer to when i'll take them out i'm going to preheat my oven to 180 degrees celsius and uh, then i'll show you i'll come back to you 
सो मेरा डो रेस्ट हो गया है नाउ यूजिंग एन आइसक्रीम स्कूप आई स्कूप इट आउट एंड प्लेस इट ऑन दिस ट्रे विद अ सिलिकॉन मैट इफ यू डोंट हैव अ सिलिकॉन मैट यू कुड ऑल्सो यूज पार्शन पेपर oven is at 180 degrees celsius and i'm going to bake these for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the edges are golden brown my cookies are done i'm going to leave them on the baking tray for 10 minutes and let them cool completely i'm extremely happy with how these cookies have turned out they're soft they're chewy they're so delicious and they're packed with oats so I love it and I hope you enjoyed today's baking session. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel so that we could do more of these baking sessions together. And if you end up making these cookies in your own kitchen, please do share pictures with me. Tag me on Instagram at chave17 and I'll be back with one more of these videos very very soon. So stay tuned, keep watching and be safe guys. Take as many precautions as you can, but don't panic because we're all in this together. Take care.